Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about the MCU, or rather, we're going to talk about the MCU in Disneyland whenever it opens. Uh, they're going to have Avengers Campus, which is their Marvel expansion. Mm -hmm. Now, what's curious about this is this is sort of the, the anti-Galaxy's Edge, isn't it? Uh, with Galaxy's Edge, they decided they wanted to go in a totally different direction and uh, create all new characters, all new planet, and it's, it's basically Star Wars name only with Avengers Campus. Well, they're going to pretend the snap never happened. Right. Basically, it's before the snap or without the snap. It's, it's an alternate universe without the snap. Right, you can't have the snap happen because then you have to explain away characters that they want to promote in the park. Because they're, they're even giving Iron Man a new, a new suit, uh, the Mark 80. So they can't have the Mark 80 suit if they don't have Iron Man. And you can't you have Black Widow for meet and greets if she's dead. Yeah, this is really interesting because this shows just how little faith Disney might have in the MCU going forward without all the main characters. Well, that or the fact they learned from Galaxy's Edge that you, you need to base it on what's popular and not on your own dream project. Right, right. So this is uh, this is coming from Disney. This is coming from Dan Fields, executive creative director of Disney Parks. Yeah, it was Live like comicbook.com got to go to preview. Okay. Of course, we don't get invited to those. Uh, but usually they're coastal, too, by what side you're on and we're not on the West Coast. So um, this is what the person said. So the Avengers and all of us, the guests, we're recruits. We're here to just have eyes on the prize there. I think that you'll find that you'll find that these events are really happening. It's really happening. Oh my God, it's really happening. It's, it's happening, happening Neil, it's, it's happening. happening. This campus exists in the real world and therefore those heroes are here and keep an eye on us. Keep us all safe personally right here in Disneyland. Just us, because we're special, we paid for it. Yeah. There's no apocalyptic snap happening in this campus. Yes, oh, there no, is. no. <laughs> yes, Your money? Is. No, I'm thinking. I'm thinking the virus. The virus. Oh yeah, well, there you go. Okay, okay. We're gonna talk about that. He continues. As I mentioned, there's no snap. What I mean by that is we want there to be some conflict, but we don't want anyone to feel that there's an apocalyptic <laughs> threat to the end of humanity. Um. Okay, we don't want, yeah, but COVID 19 is bad enough. Yeah, Our right? friends in the studio did a great job with that. So we want the conflict to be a little more accessible <laughs> to the daily guests here. It's like our channel, where the conflict's a bit more accessible. Yeah, so so basically, what boils down to is what flavor of churro, infinity churro, do you want? Right, we don't want the snap, but we're going to have infinity, uh, infinity stone based churros, which we'll talk about here in a bit. Yeah, so, but what this tells me, again, is one, they learned a, a really hard lesson from Galaxy's Edge. And two, uh, they also realize that these are the Avengers. These are the characters people want to see. They want Captain America and Spider-Man and Thor. I'm sorry, and these are like the knockoff Avengers. They're the though. knockoff Avengers. Because they look, those things look nothing like the actors that play they them. They don't. Like, what's this guy over here? Like, this is Doctor, Doctor Strange. Strange. Um, there's one, the couple look about right. Black Panther. Well, uh, he's got a mask on. You can't tell what Exactly. All the characters that have masks on they're they're movie authentic they look legit um <laughs> so, i mean this this captain marvel she's smirking more than, than well, yeah she's a lot more she looks a lot friendlier she's a friendlier captain marvel the group costume is pretty cool though mm -hmm. i'll give them that but black widow looks nothing like her no um you know this is the thing though D look this is what people want and i think disney's gonna learn a really hard lesson with phase four i mean disney's been learning a lot of hard lessons this year but I think phase four, they're going to learn a really hard lesson when uh, everyone's unrecognizable, mm -hmm. sidelined, fat or dead. Yeah, so Captain Captain America's is in this version, too. He has not turned old. Um, so the toilets, are they? is that where you put America's ass in, right. in the Avengers campus? Uh, he actually looks okay. Because in, in Avengers, cool everybody has America's ass. Everybody has America's ass. For 200 bucks a day, you should. So the 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 deal is, I guess it's going to open whenever it opens. We don't know when it's Disneyland's going to open. It's supposed to be open July 18th, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we right. don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, we right. don't know because even if, if it would be, the parks would be open in July. We don't know what's going to happen because I don't know how far back this puts them on getting it ready. Mm -hmm. So we don't know if that changes or anything yet at this point. Oh, also mentioned that he said also that Loki and the Tesseract are in this version. Um, and there was a divergence that Loki takes the Tesseract over here and they're doing things over there. And in our timeline, we have a shared history with the films. 
we will continue to have a shared history as we move forward. So there'll be a little more fluidity to that timeline. But clearly, we live in a version of the multiverse where there are some characters who just did not sacrifice themselves for us. They're alive and well now. But, you know, Loki, because when you have that power, the Tesseract, of course you're going to go to Disneyland. You're going to go to Disneyland and make sure everybody's happy. This is the happier, uh, happier Avengers. She doesn't look, she looks like she's channeling Captain Marvel. She does. She actually should be Captain Marvel. They should make her Carol. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, look, Disney knows these are the characters people want. I don't know what's going to happen with Phase 4 because everybody's sidelined dead or fat or mm -hmm. depressing or whatever. And uh, they're going to bank on the characters everybody loves. Well, here's the other thing about this, too. Avengers Campus was going to be in two phases. This was phase one. Phase two was going to add another attraction most likely Black Panther. Now, going forward, we don't know what's going to happen to that. We were saying before this, that the big thing happened with the parks closing, that that phase could be uh, cut out. They were hearing rumors that it, it was possible they'd cut that, and that was before. So now I think it's even more likely that that might get cut. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's going to get cut, guys. Again, if you don't uh, realize how bad this is for Disney parks that they're losing millions, tens of millions of dollars every day. The parks are down. Uh, absolutely stuff is going to get cut or delayed. I mean, yeah, it might just be delayed a couple delayed. years. Yeah, yeah, it's possible it could just be delayed. Uh, because, I mean, they got to do something. They, they you know, they, they they dug up the space for the uh, the Avengers campus. They shut down a bunch of well, attractions. Well, they had it in two phases, so they were already planning it. To, so they could leave it like this for a while. Um, before you go to that, can we talk about the treats? Yeah. Yeah, so we got a sneak peek. Uh, that treats too. This is also from comicbook.com because they got to go. Of course, we don't get invited. Um, not now. We we blew that boat up a long time ago. Anyway, new kid. Um, so apparently, with the new campus, uh, if you go to the Tear and Treats cart over by Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout, um, you can go see the 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 collector. He 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 runs the the the, the vendor cart now. Um, when he's not in the Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout attraction, he's outside running the vending cart. Um, <laughs> because, you know, he had all that money, he was going to buy the Tesseract. Right. Or, yeah. No, he was going to buy the stone. Was it Tesseract or no, it was a power stone. Well, whatever he was going to yeah, buy. Yeah, he's, um, he's not dead either. No. He's selling churros. He's selling and churros and, and shit. Um, <laughs> so here, Sorry. they're going to have two treats that we know of. And they're going to, they're calling them the... I can't get past this one. They're calling them the uh, Cosmic Cream Ore. <laughs> <laughs> and the Sweet Spiral Ration Churros. The okay. Cosmic Cream Ore. So don't you know with the Sweet Spiral Ration Churros, the colors don't match their flavor, but they put them in little swirls so they look like like the Infinity Stones. But there's no Thanos in this, in this version. But they're going to use the Infinity Stones anyway. So if you ever want to know what the Soul Stone or Time Stone tasted like, um, now you can pick the color, but the flavors don't match the colors. They're going to have red, blue, green, orange, yellow, and purple. What the? So what would those flavors be? Red would be like strawberry cherry. Blue would probably be like blueberry or, or raspberry or something like that. Oh green what, green so apple lame. or lime. Orange would be orange. This Yellow would probably be lemon. So lame. And purple would be probably like passion fruit or something like that. I mean, but they're not going to match their colors, guys. So it doesn't matter. They could all be like, you know, something completely different, like... Mango. They always go for mango. If, okay, so if this if this works, let's hypothetically you know pretend this. Oh, is one for each work. knuckle. Yeah, that'd be fun. Oh my god. <laughs> they Fat fit. Thanos. <laughs> you have to have a glove the size of your body uh, to fit those on there. Yeah, he's he's not going to snap away half his body weight. He's going to add another fifty percent. That's right. So if this works. You know, Disney, you could always go back to Galaxy's Edge and pretend The Last Jedi didn't happen and give us a kick-ass Luke Skywalker and keep Han Solo and, and Leia alive. I mean, that'd be pretty cool. There you go, because you, right? you can change it. could call it a multiverse. A multiverse. But beyond that, you're going to get the Cosmic Cream Orb. That sounds like a sex toy. And it's, and it's, uh, it would. It, to you, it would. I'm just saying. Well, it gets even better. So this is a cream puff filled with whipped raspberry cheesecake mousse and it's inspired by the power stone so now we know i put now we know power tastes like raspberry cheesecake mousse i like power <laughs> it looks like a burnt sugar cookie no that's crackling that's with, normal for a cream puff they put crackling on it but they color it like purple gray it looks like a burnt cookie with some some purple sludge inside of that it. is it's inspired by the power stone no it's a cosmic cream man the Cosmic Cream. It's the Cosmic Cream. The Cosmic Cream Man. No, yeah, it's the Cosmic Cream That's the next Marvel villain. <laughs> After Thanos, 
after Galactus, uh, <laughs> the next big villain in the MCU is going to be the Cosmic Cream Man. Do not ask what he does to the universe. <laughs> it's best you don't you don't know. <laughs> he's uh, going to screw the universe. <laughs> he's here to just f shit up. Hold on, I have to take a minute. <sighs> he's going to have his Milky Way with the entire galaxy. <laughs> Okay. Stop. <laughs> I can't. Anyway, that's what power tastes like. <laughs> so, that's a power. That's power tastes like like raspberry purple goo. Uh, yeah. So that anyway, tastes good though. No, it's just funny because you know this. This tells me this is you know Disney like guys. Guys, these are the characters, well, mostly. These are the characters mostly that people want to see in movies going forward. They don't want all new, all well, different they, people. They got rid of like three important characters, and now they're going back and making a Black Widow movie after she's dead. Yeah, how people, insulting is that? How insulting is people that? People are mad Iron Man's gone, so they're trying to figure a way that they can bring him back in an alternate universe, and, and you know Captain America, too. I'm telling you, what they're going to do, if they get hard up enough for cash and Phase 4 lands with a thud, they will go back and recast all the Avengers with younger, cheaper actors and just say, oh, this is this is uh, 617, not 616. And uh, yeah, he kind of looks like Chris Evans, but we got him for half the price. He doesn't have America's ass. Though. He doesn't have America's ass. No, he's got 616's ass or 617's. Anyway, the thing is, <laughs> the Maybe he's Canadian. He's got Canadian's ass. Well, they have one of those, don't they? They'll just bring in. They'll just bring in Alpha Flight. And they all have fantastic asses, because they're they're all Canadian. I think that's right, because Canadian. Canadians all have fantastic butts. That's that's right. That's um, what that means. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna be stereotyped, we... at least being stereotyped into having a nice butt would be a better stereotype than a lot of the other ones. Well, did you hear? We didn't do a whole separate video about it, but America Chavez, they're bringing her back. Oh yeah, how dare they make her not be flat chested? But she's got a, a magnificent American ass, and I people are having all kinds of problems with that because it's problematic. She has a bubble butt, and you she know, does. I mean, some people do. It's just the way. It is. They want to sell comics. Unfortunately, my butt, it, when I'm not so fat, is flat. So, you know, I, I would have to wear padding to have America's ass. But anyway, uh, speaking of uh, America's ass and Disney, um, let's go back to talking about this stuff. So, uh, yeah, what are they, what are they saying? Their five universal projects that might be closed? Uh, yeah, they're talking about the different Disney projects that might be closed or delayed. And one of them, I, I think for sure, is going to be phase two of Disneyland, the Avengers thing going yeah, on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to be delayed, at but, least. But we wondered the other day, we were like, is Universal, are they going to be affected? And apparently, they're moving full steam ahead on Epic Universe with Nintendo. Mm -hmm. um, now, Universal, again, they're not uh, you know, obviously they're hurting, obviously they're in debt, but they're not as bad off as Disney because they're propped up by Comcast, which right. has other sources of revenue that don't depend on large crowds of people. Like, you know, your internet bill, mm -hmm. uh, you know, network TV, all that kind of stuff. Um, they're going to take a hit because they're not doing the Olympics, obviously, right. this year, but they can but still... But they'll make it up next year when they do the Olympics because they've been postponed to next year. Yeah, and from my point of view, if, if I were in charge, and it's a good damn good thing I'm not in charge because I don't know how that would go. But if I were in charge, I'd be like, hey, Disney's down and out. Let's take advantage of this situation and let's ramp it up if we can. Oh, I think that's what they might be trying to do. Like, let's give them the freaking ridiculous, ridiculous resort. Uh, let's give them a ridiculous experience and uh, not charge them ridiculous prices. And we will we will just go in for the kill. And that's what I think they're probably going to do. Yeah. But by then, though, by the time it's scheduled to open, Disney will be working on coming back, though. Yeah. It's, it's like, like 2023, isn't it? Or 20, yeah, 2023. Yeah. So that might get pushed back even. We don't know. Yeah. But they said um, this was just a week ago. They said our construction projects around the globe, Super Nintendo World, Osaka and Hollywood, Universal's Epic Universe in Orlando and Universal Beijing all remain active and on track under protocols established by government officials and with their support now. Um, we did hear from people that Universal was, at least a, a week or so ago, they were still working on the Jurassic World coaster. Yeah, which is weird, because I thought they said that they were supposed to stop construction projects. But um, <sighs> I think earlier it was stopped at Disney because they chose to, probably yeah. to save money. Yeah. Um, but then when they put the stay-at-home order, and I thought that meant, like, that would stop that, but apparently not. I don't know. Again, this was, you know, from like a week ago, but they're still moving forward with Epic Universe. So Disney's, you know, they're going to have to... 
uh, basically, when they come back online, get their shit together. Because yeah. Epic Universe is, is going to really be pretty awesome. Well, I have a couple things to talk about here that ties into the closures and um, the, the thing where we're allowed to talk about it now. Uh, I think if you just say the virus. The virus. Talk. Okay. So um, one thing we're talking about is something that's happening now and there's something that we got someone reported to us. Anyway, so apparently 38 of the crew members aboard Disney Wonder have tested positive for the thing. And uh, a few of them have been taken off ship to hospitals, apparently. But they they announced it. I guess the captain announced it on the ship. And the only reason that we know about it is because people leaked it. Um, according, according to Cruise Law News, they said that the captain around 6.30 last night said that... Uh, said that uh, the ships, he went over the ship's intercom and said 38 crew members had tested positive for the virus. Oh my God. Now, the author of the article, Jim Walker, said that the crew members are being told to keep it quiet. Of course they are. Yeah, of course they are. Of course they are. So it said, he said, this is a quote, all of the crew members who subsequently con contacted me complained that they are under strict instructions from Disney not to speak to the media or post information like this on social media. So again, that bad news is kryptonite to Disney. I also thought it was interesting they said that they've been docked at San Diego since March uh, 19th, except for when they go out to sea to discharge waste. Oh, yuck. I'm like, well, that's really good for the oceans. Yeah, right. And then uh, another thing I want to point out was they mentioned this, which we mentioned the other day, again, that here's another case of a foreign flagged ship that is based that because Disney Wonder's not getting Disney's not getting flack like Holland America and everybody else mm -hmm. are getting for having the foreign flags and stuff and using um, uh, the American docks medical. Yeah. Um, Disney Cruise Lines is another one that flies the foreign flag and does that overseas stuff where they register someplace else to NASA, avoid, most of you know, NASA, yeah. for financial benefits and for avoiding certain guidelines. Taxes. Yeah. <laughs> you know? They're another one. The Disney Cruise Lines fly foreign flags, too. People are, like, blaming it on these other ships, but Disney Cruise Lines also does. And this person mentions that. They said, you know, they said they are, they, Disney's not being criticized. And, and he mentioned the fact that, you know, unlike the other ships, they aren't getting criticized. Uh, yeah. Well, I think, I think the cruise industry is absolutely going to change, uh, I mean, drastically after this. And it needs to. Uh, and one of the rumors I heard, again, this is just a rumor with, with Cruise, is basically if they want to partake in whatever bailouts there are for the travel industry, they're going to have to fly American flags mm -hmm. on their ships, and they're going to have to pay their fair share of, of taxes. And what might happen with, in Disney's case, possibly, maybe possibly, it depends on how bad things get, but Disney, once upon a time, used to just license its characters out to other cruise lines. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know if they do that though. They're they're gonna have four boats here soon, uh, and they have islands they have leases on for long periods of time. Yeah. I don't know. I think they'll still do it. I don't think they're gonna do that. I think they'll keep their cruises running. But here's the thing: at least until April 28th, all cruises are canceled. But I can tell you, Port Canaveral just laid off 50 people that yeah. deal with cruises and recreation. Um, till May 30th because they don't think they're gonna have ships sailing in and out, and they're worried about cargo ships instead for you no know, transporting supplies because yeah. of you know the, the grocery stores and the virus and all that. They're not going to most likely be doing cruises anytime in the near future. But right now, Disney Wonder, you know, the ship that people were like, oh, Disney's over, super clean. Yeah, I know, know right? Get on there. Just use the hand washing station. Let me show you a video. You're totally safe on, on yeah, a Disney right. cruise ship. Yeah, right. They're, they're, they, people got disembarked and had already been testing positive, And now 38 of the crew members, as of last night, 38, have tested positive for the virus and they are all still contained together on the ship. So I am sure that number is going to go much higher. Oh God. And then the other thing I wanted to talk about before we wrap it up was, um, so, okay, remember we asked, <laughs> you want to talk about, you can. No, it's okay, go ahead. Remember we made, we asked, well, Neon asked, do do the parks still run music when they're closed? If they buy information to let us know. Well, somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody, let's say a, a, an anonymous source. Right contacted us and said that that the music does not play no i'm disappointed because that would that would put a little spring in your step if you were you were just kind of you know uh hanging out in the parks you know doing your whatever they do the people that are there if they're working security or they're cleaning up stuff you'd have that music put a little yeah. spring in your step well the music isn't there and it's really kind of eerie apparently because it's just quiet and everything's still the same but there aren't running and there's no people yeah, and the other thing that this this person mentioned too was they're hearing that some of the wildlife is starting to move back into the parks. People kept asking us if that was going to happen, and we I didn't know. know. Well, according to this person, 
Uh, bears and alligators. Oh God! Are, now the raccoons are are kind of going away because like, because you know Not garbage. Yeah, pretty much because people aren't there and they're you know raccoons are usually around where a lot of people are. You mean normally? Or it could be they're chased off or eaten by the alligators and bears. <laughs> but the alligators and bears are now encroaching on the Disney parks. So um, I'm not saying it's like, you know, a, a hostile takeover of the animal variety, but, you know, there's having more incidents with these animals coming in because there aren't people there to stop them or scare them away. And uh, because of the cutbacks and different things, they don't have as many people. They don't probably have the animal wranglers out there like they used to and everything else. So, um, yeah, another reason that Disney won't open as soon as you right away as soon as y'all clear is issued is because it's probably going to take a while to go in there and make sure they get all the wildlife out of the um the area oh my god i'm just thinking going through splash mountain it's like that's oh, not an animatronic it's well, a they, bear they've taken um and they've taken little alligators out of splash mountain before i've seen videos of it yeah they have and you know i mean there's it's, it's florida. florida yeah there's no way you can keep them all out even when there's people there all the time they get in it, yeah. it just happens they get them taken care of as quickly as they can and sometimes like that one incident you know they didn't know it was there and that was a terrible incident but for the most part they're, they're on top of it um, and now that they don't have the staff and the people aren't there to scare them away, it, they're, they're starting to, to come in, which is like what you're seeing on these videos overseas, like there's European towns and then all the, the you know, animals are coming and walking around, like, you know, the deer yeah. and stuff are just like hanging out because like, what's this? What's this? You know? You and built this for me? This you know, is great. So of course this happened. It's flipping Florida. Oh my God. That's crazy because it's only been a couple of weeks. You know, I wouldn't have thought that, that wildlife would be moving back in in a couple of weeks. Well, but. they had the canals of uh, uh, Venice clear up like within a couple of weeks. Yeah. You know, the canals that, that, that there was so much damage done by man that could never be reversed. Oh, right. It was right. reversed within like a couple of weeks. <laughs> you know? Uh, so, you know, so maybe we'll maybe we'll come out of this situation with uh, uh, the environment being a little cleaner. Well, I was thinking maybe you'll be able to actually see like the bottom of Bay Lake again. Yeah, it used to be crystal clear. Mm -hmm. um, now, Bay Lake, for those of you who don't know, is actually a man-made lake. It's not mm -hmm. uh, naturally. Most of the lakes there are man-made. Yeah. Um, Disney Magic, you can't tell now because it's so murky and dark that you can't tell it was man-made, but they used to swim in it. People used to swim in it. Well, they had river countries kind of yeah. attached to it on the yeah. side. But yeah, it's uh, not, I would not recommend going anywhere near that water now. Don't go in Bay Lake Don't now. go in any open water sources around Florida. It's no. probably not recommended. But um, yeah, I would like to see if it turns out clearer because you don't have the boats going across all the time, the ferries yeah. and stuff. I just wonder if it, it'll end up cleaning up some. I, I think, um, you know, if we, because we talked before, once upon a time we talked about moving, uh, to Florida. I'm like, I, I would never get a swimming pool because I'd always be mm -hmm. afraid there'd be an alligator in the swimming pool or something. <laughs> you know, lots of critters. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, it's going to be well to the parks open back up. Um, very interesting, though, that they're going with, you know, the characters. The no snap. No snap. Pre-snap. We're going to pretend it didn't happen. And I'm sure there are some Disney executives now that are like, damn it. I wish we didn't kill off half the Avengers because that well, was money in the bank. They only killed two. And yeah. then they just made one really, really old. And one really, really and fat. And one fat. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. And one really, really hipsterish, Hipster Hulk. We got Hipster Hulk now. So I'm sure there are Disney executives who were probably like, why couldn't we just keep everybody, you know, the way Hulk they were? Hulk there. No, because he costs too much. We'll sure. get She-Hulk. We'll get She-Hulk. And she'll, she'll tell all the married couples why they're problematic. Yeah, she'll stand over by the churro cart and she'll say that it's misogynistic because the churros all look like schlongs. That's right. They all, if you have a schlong that's curled up like that, you've got problems. You need to see a doctor. You should. You should see a doctor. But yeah, she'll she'll be over there just yelling, or randomly yelling at people, tweeting incessantly. Mm -hmm. She'll be yeah. on her phone. She'll be on her <laughs> phone tweeting angry tweets. That's what She-Hulk's going to do. So, all right, we're going to wrap this one up. That's right. Okay, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.